Hi guys, Dan here, Trojan Art Painting. Saw Waterloo 745's a new Airfix model, that British carrier, aircraft carrier ship model that he just picked up. Pretty nice looking model. Pretty big, pretty nice. We've been talking about doing a group build on a model ship kit uh, this summer, and I guess he's uh, kicking it off. I don't know if this is if he wants to do this as a group build or more of a challenge though, because I don't recommend doing it as a challenge, because start talking about model ship building, you're kind of hitting my sweet spot. Not gonna win that one. So just in case you were thinking doing that, uh, I'd recommend against it and just stick with group build, vice competition, just saying. Anyway, nice kit. That carrier, whatever it was called, prompted me to go down to the storage shed, do a little dig and see what I could come up with. I don't know, found a couple small kits. Huh? What do you think? One 500 scale. This thing's over a thousand feet long in real life, so that makes means it's over it's over two feet long. Then stacked right below that in the old storage was another trumpeter kit. I've actually built the same exact model one time for the Vicksburg Battlefield Museum for their mighty Mississippians display. So I'll probably build the Washington. I mean, I think the ships are, I mean, they're the same class. At this scale, I don't even think they have anything only to tell them apart. Anyway, you can build your little mini aircraft carrier, the little jump ramp. I'll build my uh, mighty U.S. Navy nuclear-powered attack carrier. Merkel is a modern technology. They're both still in shrink wrap. Let me go ahead and uh, bust this bad boy out here show you the hull since you were kind enough to show your ship's hull. I've had these models about eight years to nine years. You excited? Ready? Lots of bits, aircraft, flight decks in three different pieces. And it's got the, uh, it's got all the machinery and stuff so it can actually be motorized. electric motor and stuff. It's got all the it's got all the gears and stuff already built into it. All the reduction gears for the motor going back to the shafts. There's the uh, there's the hole for that bad boy. Yeah so I'm ready man. Let's get to it. Oh crap, I opened the stennis. Oops. Nah. Even has a little battery holder thing here already. Maybe I'll make it maybe I'll make it powered. Alright man. Talk to y'all later.